hello guys una welcome back to diy farm channel sorry say i know post video for some time now so for today's video we want to talk about between organic pottery farming and synthetic pottery farming which one they profitable which one you could get gain especially you when one start as a beginner so now waiting we want to talk for today's video so for this video i know go tell you the one when you go choose now you go choose by yourself so waiting we will talk for this video we will talk about the definition of both the organic and synthetic pottery farming we will talk about the difference between these two type of pottery farming We'll talk about the importance of each of these pottery farming. Now waiting we won't talk. So again, now between organic pottery farming and synthetic, which on the profitable. Now waiting we won't talk for today's video. So make we start with the definition of each of these type of pottery farm. Organic pottery farming now the type of pottery farm whereby you they use roots, herbs, and natural drugs to train your bed to slaughter level. You know they use vaccine, you know they use drugs, you know they use chemical. Again, organic pottery farming, now the type of pottery farming whereby you they use roots, herbs, vaccine, no vaccine, sorry. You will use natural plants without the use of vaccine, drugs, or synthetic chemical. Why synthetic pottery farm? The type of pottery farm whereby you they use drug vaccine, synthetic drug growth booster from the one to slaughter level. So now the definition of these two type of pottery beds be this. The difference be say for organic pottery farm, now natural herbs you they use. And for synthetic na synthetic drugs or commercial drugs you they use for them and again to start organic pottery farming you know the two cost like that like that of synthetic pottery farm because you they buy vaccine you they buy drugs you they buy medicated feed and again to start this kind of organic pottery farming you need person to teach you where well. you need to get the skills before you first start out to know how to mix this organic medication but for synthetic farm if you start like a novice and become a professional for example when you want to administer food or you want to administer drugs to your pottery bed sometimes you see instruction there so if you be pursuing the feel read and understand you go feed do one so for this type of pottery farm if you start as a novice and later be a professional so now the difference between these two types of pottery farm. The two of them can get good importance. For organic pottery farming, you need to spend plenty of money to do up and it is cheap to start. While for the synthetic pottery farming, your bet they grow, especially when you use this growth booster, chemical, or if you give them medicated feed, that one could really help. But some of the importance of these two types of pottery farm. So make we talk about organic farm. Make we talk about everything about them. Uh, as we all know, organic pottery farm and a type of pottery farm whereby uh, natural herbs, roots, and drugs. Now wait till you they give them. You know they give them vaccine or growth booster or chemical. So we could talk about the medication aspect. Well, you need to give your bed medicine. Now, the meaning of medication, medication is a process whereby you they give your bed medicine. So medication they're very important for organic pottery farming. It they help cure sickness, disease. But the type of medication when you could give them now organic medication. When they make from roots, herbs, spices, something like garlic, ginger, turmeric, and so on. So you need to give them drugs. The next one is the vaccination. Well, this kind of pottery farm, you need know, to vaccinate them with synthetic drugs. So now medication, organic medication, now you go give them. 
I'm going to talk about the next one, the housing aspect. Well, organic beds, they the same like other pottery beds. So, they are housing, no they different. If you put them for cage, if you put them for normal house when you build, or you put them for carton. So, housing, they are normal thing for them. The next one are the cost of starting this kind of pottery farm. Well, to start organic pottery farm, the cost do too much like that. Because you know they buy drugs, you know they buy vaccine, you know they buy medicated feed for them. Instead, now these herbs and put them, you will buy, give your bed. Some of them feed them around your environment. Some of them you feed buy them for cheap money. And sometimes for the feeding aspect, if you give them formulated feed, if you give them fermented feed, and if you give them commercial feed, so you know they to spend money for this kind of pottery farm. What talk about the skill when they needed to start this kind of pottery farm? Well, to start this organic pottery farming, you need to get skills. That is, you need to savvy and wear well. The thing need teach you to know, them, especially how to make organic medication, how to make organic feed for your bed. So, person need teach you. You know, go feel start like novice, come become a professional. You know, today possible. The last one are the feeding aspects. Well, feeding as we all know, organic beds, then they listen like other beds. So you need feed them. Either are the formulated feed, the fermented feed, or the commercial feed. You need feed them well well. And for this kind of poultry farm, money for food no they too cost. Because if you give them feed when you formulate by yourself. So that is all about um, organic poultry farm. The next one will enter now the synthetic poultry farming. Synthetic poultry farming now the type of poultry farming whereby you raise your bed with chemical, synthetic drug, commercial drugs and vaccine, including good booster. So we will talk about the medication aspect of this type of poultry bed. Well, as we don't talk the synthetic beds then or if you do synthetic pottery farming you need to medicate them well with commercial drugs we get the antibiotics we get the antiviral we get the antiparasite and anti fungi you need to give them this drug they need them well well the next one are the vaccination aspect in fact beds this synthetic bed they need vaccination well well either for Gumburu, Newcastle, foul pus, or avian influenza, they need vaccination, synthetic vaccination. The next one, uh, housing aspect. So, synthetic beds, they know they different than other pottery beds. So, they need housing. They need house when you will give them. If you give them house when you don't build, or cage or even carton so far as the thing will be comfortable for them and it will help prevent any enemy if they conversant with the bed so bed they need housing to survive the next one are the cost the money when you go carry start well synthetic type of poultry farm then they costly why we say then they costly because you need bite drugs First, you need to buy the bed, you need to buy drugs, you need to buy vaccine, you need to buy different medication for the bed so that they never fall sick. Because now these beds, now these drugs, now in the help them well, well. So, now they will chop plenty money for this kind of farming. Make we talk about the skills when they needed to start this kind of pottery farming. Well, this kind of pottery farming needs skills, but you know too much like that of the organic pottery farming. Because when you they start this kind of pottery farm, if you start as a novice, understandable, you will find if you can become expert for this kind of business. For example, when you they give your bed drops, sometimes if you look for the Kong Kong or the container of the drugs, 
you will see some instruction there. If you person will feel read and understand quickly, you will fit the one, including the feed, including the vaccine. Then you put instruction there. So you feel start as a novice, come become a professional. So the skills there, you know too much by that of the organic poultry farm. But it's still good make you know about them before you start. I just the talk based on research. The last one now the feeding aspect of this type of poultry beds. As we know, these synthetic beds then they the same like other beds. So you need feed them, balance feed. You need give them feed when go make them grow fast, when go make them they hairy. So they need food just like other poultry beds. So now we think we won't talk about synthetic poultry farming. So I thank you as you stay with us till the end of this video. I hope you don't learn plenty. No forget to subscribe to DIY Farm. Continue to like, share and watch our video. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.